Shalom people, this is Brother Lyles coming at you with another video. <clears throat> and as I look at this uh, Ukrainian uh, situation where they're uh, sending these Ukrainian refugees uh, into uh, Western Europe and America and other places throughout the world, <clears throat> I heard that um, even Africa in Tanzania, Zanzibar took in about 2,000 Ukrainians in uh, these hotels. This is not <clears throat> this is not nothing new. Uh, people forget that after World War II, there were a lot of Eastern Europeans that went down to Brazil. In fact, the the country of Brazil uh, paid them to come into uh, Brazil, into the cities, in a program called Blocchio Mento, where they were uh, trying to um, white out the majority black population in Brazil. They brought in a lot of Eastern Europeans. Uh, we can also remember. Um, the uh, Ellis Island, uh, you know, when they uh, Im immigrants that came in, quite a few came from uh, Eastern Europe. Now they didn't pay these uh, Eastern Europeans to come in. I mean, they they came in, you know, poor and everything. But they did when they got here. Those that went out west and became farmers they were given certain uh, subsidies and everything to help them establish farms out there in the Midwest, in the West. And I can even remember when I was in the army back in 1989, when the Berlin Wall came down, uh, when uh, East, Eastern, uh, East Germany, uh, the Berlin Wall came down, and we, I was uh, stationed in Freiburg. And I remember the very next day after the wall came down, Freiburg was flooded with these uh, East Germans. Uh, they 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 had these cars. It was on, actually I think it was the only car that they could have in in the Soviet bloc nations was this vehicle called the Travi. And it was sort of like the um, the, the Kia Soul. It, it, it was blocked like that. It was a block. I remember it was a little block car, and they was packed, just like you know. I mean, it was those East Germans was packed in those cars. They was getting over into West Germany because they they thought that the the wall was gonna come back up, so they flooded West Germany, you know, just to make sure that they. <laughs> I guess they, they didn't think that it would last. So uh, a, a lot of military bases actually were closed because of that. And they had to turn these military bases over to the German government so that it could house all these um, East Germans and, and other nations that was coming in. I can remember, yes, definitely in the uh, you know, 90s and, and the thing I started seeing you know, in the military, a lot of people from Eastern European nations that were joining our military, they, they say, yeah, when the, when, when Soviet Union broke apart, we we didn't want to hang around to see if it was going to come back. So we, we fled here to America or other places in the West so that if that day ever came that uh, Russia decided they wanted to bring us back in, we, we'd be somewhere else. So this is not the first time, but this is the this is a um unprecedented amount of funds though that they are uh raising for them. most of the time in the past they probably might have came on their own dime and maybe got a little help when they got here but uh there's reports you know that a lot of these ukrainians which to, to be honest um I don't know why we, we we shocked that they are raising this kind of money for a lot of them. 
I don't know why we 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 don't want to we don't want to face the facts that uh, African nations and African peoples are not of a strategic value as I heard Joe Biden say in an interview back in the 1990s when he was talking about Haiti. He said, to be honest, uh, Haiti and really other black nations and peoples are not of a strategic value to us. So we're not going to put our time and energy into uh, trying to uh, uh, do anything for them. These people are uh, of our stock. They are blue eyed, blonde hair. They're pure stock Europeans. They are actually even more pure than some of the Europeans here. So you can just see that by bringing some of them in, and a lot of them are nationalists, a lot of them are of uh, Nazi leanings, dealing with uh, purity of race. They're gonna probably come in here and look down on the, the white people that's here in America as being some kind of uh, mutt, <laughs> which will be kind of funny. But uh, yeah, I don't know why we're shocked, but yeah, but they are raising a lot of money. They are raising a lot of money because I was, uh, you know, looking on my, uh, eat through my email and uh, I'm signed up with Trip TripAdvisor. And TripAdvisor said, hey, if you donate this amount to TripAdvisor, TripAdvisor will donate this amount uh, for the Ukrainian people. And you see that through all throughout industry so that the government can somewhat truthfully say, well, they're not getting government funds per se, but what the government is doing is these corporations and people are funneling their money into these uh, government ran government controlled foundation to kind of target all the money to the individual people and it's sort of like the 9-11 fund the 9-11 fund was all the personal donations all the company donations and government donations that was being managed by these law firms right and people had to you know you know do their paperwork and documentation of you know, what part of the 9-11 uh, incident that they was affected by and then they would get the funds. This is sort of the same thing that's going on with these Ukrainians. And uh, I mean, it's a lot of money. If the reports that I've been hearing are correct, uh, I, I've hearing, been hearing that there have been people that have been donating uh, free rent to these people in, in castles in, in, in Europe, uh, nice Airbnbs and apartments here in America. Uh, there, I've heard reports of some Ukrainians getting uh, up to $800,000. I, I can't deny or confirm that, but I, I wouldn't find it hard to believe because there is a, a, a big money exchange and also the fact like I stated to you, these these Europeans are pure blood Europeans. They have not been. In fact, a lot of them are, uh, like I said, have Nazi leanings, where they really believe in that racial purity. And so this is probably right down the alley of America, because they're probably looking at some of the white populace here in America and said we're not really kind of too sure about y'all. So you know. <laughs> We gonna bring in these people. We know we ain't gotta we ain't gotta worry about them uh, keeping they uh, their blood pure. We ain't gotta worry about them segregating themselves. You know they will now, and it's not to say that some of them, you know, you won't uh, find uh, a mixed match here or there. That's, I'm not saying that, but for the most part, you know, it's all like a a, a fresh infusion of a Caucasian uh, uh, DNA into the different nations where they're where going because we know Europe had been flooded by a lot of African and Middle Eastern immigrants and definitely you know America with its already 
uh, population of us, then Hispanics that came in, and other na uh, other nations like India and other places like that. That there there has been a, a dilution of the of the white right now. Some people b believe that's of their they're doing to to stretch out their population. I don't know, but I know that they will they will not. Uh, they will not hold back in trying to save this race of, um, of people coming out of Ukraine because again this is this is where it all began for them with the purity of race you know the blue eyes blonde hair uh, and in fact as I, I, I stated before this is this, this Ukraine was a nation that when the Germans invaded, um, tried, was going to invade Russia, when the Nazis came through Ukraine, it was the Ukrainians that teamed up with them to help them fight against the Russians because they didn't want to be under Russian rule. So this is nothing new. And so, again, this should let us know that um, if if uh, this war ends and quote unquote things go back to normal, that once again we we will we'll be further down the, the totem pole than what we already was. That I, I would I would suspect that they're gonna probably bring in more than uh, a hundred thousand. Not to mention that the Ukrainians they said that if they show up on the Mexican or Canadian border, they can just walk right across into America. So I suspect you're gonna probably get an infusion of, you know, if not a million, at least a couple million of them that's gonna flood into this country. And a lot of them are uh, techies. Uh, a lot of them are into industry. So just suspect to see that they're gonna start making some rumbles in the uh, the political whatever political party that they become affiliated with. I suspect it's not going to be the Democratic Party. I suspect it's probably going to be the Republican Party because you know they most of them are you know Russian Orthodox or whatever. They believe in uh, purity of. Uh, blood and everything so this is gonna be right down the Republican line I can I can really see that and that seems to be the crazy thing about this immigration that the Democrats are fight to get these immigrants in but when they, when they come most of them even ones that are non-white a lot of them end up joining the Republican Party and you know not so much because I think they, uh, um, you know, love white races, but some of the ideas and the quote unquote values, I use that word in quotes, that the, the Republicans supposedly adhere to, these people gravitate. They're not trying to come over here and uh, get their families to turn to LGBTQ. They're not trying to come over here and get their children to be uh, uh, mixing with other races. They want to keep their identity in their. They'll get the American language. They get the ideas of capitalism, but all the other stuff that the Democratic Party promotes, they 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 don't want that. They don't want that, and this is why they can keep their autonomy. And they can keep their identity. They, they come here and nobody will say anything to them. But because Most High said that he scattered us about, um, 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 throughout the nations. And we will have no covering. This is why we, you know, whenever we try to say, hey, you know, we want to come together in our com own our communities. We want to come together with our own language and our own and our, and our customs that we actually have. We're shot down. Because until the times of the Gentiles is over, this is what we're going to be subjected to. We're going to be subjected to degradation. We're going to be subjected to ridicule. 
and the Bible said in Deuteronomy 28, he said, another nation will come in and rise up quickly above you. And that's what we're going to see with the Ukrainians. That's what we're going to see with the Afghanis that they brought in last year, who, you know, are, are the Caucasian race also. Until the Most High himself will send his son back to free us. And we'll be able to go off into our land by ourselves. They'll never give us peace. They'll never would if they just say, for instance, the situation that happened with the African nations in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, where after they quote unquote gave them their independence, you start having these civil wars in Africa where there was major atrocities and stuff being being uh, uh, that was happening. You didn't see a flood of, uh, like I said, Africans and, and, and people like in the, um, uh, what was it, the uh, Haitian, Haitian thing in the, in the 80s and 90s. There, there were rumors, and I believe that they're, they're well founded, that when the Haitians, boat people tried to come over here, on top of them turning the boats back over, around that some of some of some of their vessels were shot and they probably was untold uh probably thousands of haitians that drowned in uh in uh the caribbean and i i have no doubt about that but that's not going to be the case with this and why would it not be one of my um most used scriptures that I always tell people, no man hateth his own flesh. These are they people. Why would you think that they would hate, hate them and turn them away? <laughs> it's only natural, but they they try to play us on that, uh, you know, all lives matter and all that stuff. But that's not the case. And we, we got to stop playing along with their little game. We got to continue to call it out when we see it. Uh, and so again, let's, let's not be be shocked. This is why Most High is gonna have to. He's gonna have to send his son back, and we're gonna have to have our own our own land. We're gonna have to have our own uh, ruler, our own language, and all that. And that's not gonna happen until the times of the Gentiles is over, and Yeshua comes back and sits on his throne. And with that, I'd like to tell you to give this video a thumb up thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe be blessed